You know, I gotta tell you that while I'm not making YouTube videos on my typical YouTube channel, um, some of the most rewarding and fulfilling work that I do is when I give to other people, for charity, for other people, just anyone other than myself, which is what this project is for. All these lights, it's not just lights and USB charges, it's enhancing a young man's life. All the boys that serve in Troop 225, which I'm the proud, proud to say I'm the Scoutmaster of, I know that these kids, their faces are just going to light up and they're just going to be over the moon when they see all these new toys that is going to get sold in the trailer. So let that be a, a side note, you know, if it means something to you. Um, I really look forward to this one. This project is going to be a little extra special for me personally. So let's get to work. Today we're going to turn this trailer with no lights to this. Now we're talking. Now we got a Boy Scout trailer. A proper Boy Scout trailer. Now that is a trailer I am proud of. Not only is it bright in here, there is not one, but count them, six USB chargers. That's a dream. For, for a young man. That's a dream right there. Oh yeah. So here's how the lighting is going to be installed. First off, this antiquated light up here, I don't think it ever worked. I'm not even sure if that thing ever worked. Over here, there's a roof access where you can get airflow through the trailer. I'm going to use that as my access way for my solar panel. I'm going to run that lead down over here into this area, which is where I'm going to mount my battery, my charger, my solar power center hub. Also, I'm going to probably put the USB multi charger there as well. And from there, I'm going to run a circuit out and over to these two rails up in the ceiling. So I'm going to have the LED light strips up in this area. Before we get started, I'm going to show you what parts I'm going to be using for my job. So since I'm using solar, as part of my charging system, as well as the hardwired light circuit from the truck that's pulling it, I'm going to diode isolate them and I'm going to be tying them into this little regulator control module, which is for the solar panel. On the end of here, it's got these two alligator clips, which are hideous. We're going to be cutting those off while splitting them with some five or six amps diodes from the truck's parking light output circuit into here. So that way, when you're on the truck, you're going to get a faster charge, but when it's parked, you're going to have a trickle charge. So that's going to keep the battery fully charged at all times. This here is a standard battery that you would find in a home, home alarm system and it's plenty plenty big because I'm only using LED lights. That's all it's going to go, go in here. That's my LED lights. I'm using these trimmable style LED strips which are going to be self-adhesive to the rails on the top of the trailer. Over here is my USB charger. It's a six port. I'm going to again cut off the cigarette lighter adapter, hardwire that so that way the boys when they want to camp out can charge their ever important mobile devices. In this bag is my little booty bag here for my diodes. I have some terminals. This is going to be my main on off switch, which I'm going to flush mount into the wood side panels inside the trailer that we've already talked about. Here's some extra Velcro, an additional switch if I'm going to need that in my installation. Fuse holders, wire ties, of course, um, some other connectors some shrink wrap that I'm going to use for my soldering. This is terrific stuff. This here is 8th inch wiring, which is what I'm going to use to protect all my wiring when I install everything inside the trailer. And the heavy gauge parts where the wires come together, I'm going to be using this 3 8 And that's about it. I mean, the rest is just doing the labor, which is, of course, the fun part. As a side note, when you buy a solar panel for trickle charging like I'm going to be using, it's a super smart idea to actually take a multimeter set it to your voltage setting so that way when this thing is directly in the sun it should be outputting 12 volts on these two leads which you can easily measure on here so you want to go ahead and install this panel up there with silicone or hardener or screws or whatever hardware you're using to mount it only to find out that it doesn't work because that's a bummer 
So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to verify the colors coming from the truck, which is pretty typical for a trailer four pin flat. That brown is most likely going to be the wire we're going to target, which is going to be the parking white circuit. Why that's important is because when that runs into the trailer, that is the one I'm going to split off to the solar panel to provide the primary power to charge 12 volts to this entire system. On the other end of that 12 volts input from the brown from the trailer, four pin flat harness, we're going to be connecting the red. Black is going to be connected to the chassis, the metal of the trailer itself, so everything is, is in the same ground. It's going to ground also at the ball and to the truck that it's connected to, so we'll have a good solid return path for the circuit when charging. So the next thing we want to do is we want to determine a good location for where we're going to mount our regulator and our 12 volt battery, which I'm going to go up here. I'll take these sticks out because these kids don't need those things up here. And I'm going to run it right to here. And here's a good reason why, because right above it, you see that that red, which is connected to all those marker lights. There's your power source coming in from the truck's parking light circuit. And then anywhere there's metal, there's your ground. Does not get much simpler than that. And I can just run it from here, right down there, mount the battery box, seal up, tighten up all my connections. And that's a terrific place to work from. The next step I did in the lighting system is I created this little wood box, which I just made of some two by fours and some braces on either side to keep it from rattling out of there. And I made it just enough to expose the top so I can make my connections, run them up and over to where the lights are gonna be connected from the trailer side. So while this battery box is drying, I'm gonna focus my attention over here, which is going to be for the solar charger because I need to get the 12 volts output from there and I have to get it to here, down to the side, through the rail, some conduit right to this spot because that's where I'm going to put my regulator and that's where I'm going to Y split the power from the truck over here and the solar charger here, run them down into the battery. So before I mount my solar charger, I'm going to set my voltmeter here to 20 volts on the high side. This is the output legs from the solar panel itself. You should get some voltage. And you can see that there's 18.91, it's flickering, so I just plugged it in. 17, I'm at 16 and a half, 17.1, 18, this thing's jumping all around. So this thing's actually putting out a lot more than 14 volts, which is okay, because this unit comes with a regulator which will allow it to not overcharge or undercharge. So this is gonna go connecting to the panel, this is going to go to my battery in parallel, and this is gonna be the load option, which I'm not even gonna use, but it's there. So this thing checks, so I'm gonna go ahead and start mounting that up on the roof of the trailer. Now that the solar panel is done, I got the battery mounted. I went ahead and I put the strip lights in there. I doubled them up. I went one way and I returned and I came back. So I have a pigtail right there. I jumped over two rails and I did the same thing again. I got one over there, it terminates there. Goes over to the other side. I basically just flipped it over turned it back around, covered it with electrical tape, and went around the entire rail to protect it. Came back, and I got another termination there. So I want to drop that down, connect those two in parallel, run them through the top channel, and terminate it right around here. I've also got this external light right here, which is for a handheld, which is retractable, so that way if the boys want to set up tables or do something on the side and have a, a little extra boost amount of light, that's going to do that job right there. Now this wire right here is from the solar panel and I'm going to need to also extend that and run that down with the other two strip lights which I have mounted. So when I do that, I'm going to take these heat shrink sleeves, slide them down the wire there like so. So that way when I connect them, I can heat them up. Now, you can do a fishing knot like the one I'm going to attempt right here. Or, you know, if you want to use solder, that's of course okay too. You can do it the way you want to do it, but this is not going to be exposed in any way. So it's very low voltage. I think that might be a little overkill for my scenario, so I'm going to go with this route. But if you want to use solder, of course, it's just that one extra step. I'm going to do that. 
do that. So you have them all twisted up. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a square knot of, of um, wiring, if you would. Once you have that sleeve on there, you take some heat source, like a heat gun, a hair dryer, or a plain old cigarette lighter. And that solidifies the connection. Do that on both wires in the circuit. The shrinks on there, real lovely, like and that's beautiful. Then you just take this. I'm gonna finish covering this in this wire loom. You run them down, and I'm also going to use. I can find it. I'm going to be using this labeler so that way when I'm no longer the scoutmaster and the next guy comes in here and tries to troubleshoot it and he looks at this wiring and doesn't know what the heck he's looking at, this will be much appreciated by whoever that person is. So a little bit of pre-planning, it's also a good idea to do. Here's a little look at what those tags look like by the way. This is just a simple labeler and it's wrote from solar panel so that way when I'm over there, I know exactly what all these wires are because they all start to look the same after you get a whole bunch of them. And I just loom this up and I insulated the tape, a little spot here and there, and on the end, I terminate it looking like this. And I'll cut off what isn't required and I'll make all my connections when I get over there. So I'll see you there in just a moment. Picking up where I was last, there's the LED strip over here. And the other one I doubled up and ran them down. So this one here, I ran over, you can see put the eighth of inch loom in there, tucked it through the plywood back there. And over here, I wound up coming to the connector where the solar charger output is. So I have that, which I pre-labeled. And then this one here is gonna be from that light. So this one, I'm gonna run to this point and I'm gonna connect those two parallel together, upgrade the size of the wire loom so that way they can all run together down to the power source at the front of the trailer. Just to show y'all, this is what it looks like when you take the two eighth inch and you step them up into a three eighths. So I ran that up and over, insulated with some electrical tape, and then ganged them together. Now I can take that, run that over, pick up the extra LED light, it'll, which will accommodate the size of the, of the loom, and again, make it to my home run down with the battery sources in the front. Okay, so what you're looking at here, this here is the solar charger controller slash regulator. This here is, in from the solar panel up there. This here are my two LED strips up in the roof line on the rails on the trailer. Here's my ground. So I put a star washer on double double lock nut so that sucker ain't going nowhere. Now this here is the parking light wire in the four pin flat trailer harness which I want to use to charge the trailer battery here while the vehicle's in motion. So I'm going to tie the ground in parallel. Over here, the parking lights and the solar panel positive lead, I'm going to diode isolate so that way it charges. So when the truck is not being used, it's still gonna feed current from the solar charger, but they're not gonna back feed to one another. That's very important. So now I'm gonna wire this all up. This panel here, the load side, I'm not going to utilize for anything. At least I don't think so. I might change my mind. No one makes them a little crazy like that, but for the most part, I don't think so. And then later on, I'm gonna go ahead and tie all the accessories together such as the USB charger and the external magnetic LED light right there. Starting to get close now. Over here you can see I got my solar power regulator charger, monitor, dealy, whatever this thing is, mounted up there. I got two-sided Velcro, so if I make, make modifications, um, upgrade, whatever, it's not a permanent fixture, especially in a trailer like this. These things do have a life expectancy. I got my input, my output, I got that run out down there, over here. This here is from my parking lights, which is the red lead. I have my ground, so I have basically my two power inputs right here. So my next move here is I'm gonna be installing this flush mount rocker switch right here. I just put that in line, the positive lead for the two roof mount LED strips. Once I do that, then I just have to connect the power and the auxiliary light. And this job will basically be done. <laughs> Look at that, that is crazy. That looks so good. That looks so good. That looks amazing. I cannot wait to see this thing in the dark tonight. I'm proud of my own self. This looks really terrific. The lights are in. All I gotta do in here is just button up some of this wiring, sew up some of these fuses and loom them up. This job looks terrific.
absolutely fantastic. This. Now, now we're talking. Now we got a trailer. Boy. You can see there, that light is out. Just about as low or flickering. That's from the solar panel. That'll go out soon. Well done. See you next time. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't like the video, you know what to do. Give it a like. See ya.